Good first press conference out of the way. Yeah. I told him the hard part's over. Yeah. <laughs> I watched uh, I watched from a distance. You did great. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you were good. He was excellent. Yeah. Well, you know, the one thing I was thinking about was, you know, why? I think a lot of players were to ask you why. You know, you've, you've won a cup. You've certainly led one of the best celebrations this town has ever had. In right fact, in here. In yeah. fact, right yeah. here, right? Yeah. To the day, five years ago. Oh, yeah. To it the is day. To the day yeah. What do you remember about that day to start out? Uh, I remember, uh, you know, it started off with me and, and Patty and, and uh, O'Reilly, and then it just started growing. And yeah, I just remember it was just so cool to be. Uh, like the whole parking lot was full of people, inside was full of people. It was like, uh, it was a little bit of what I envisioned, like everyone together with it. Yeah, so it was, a, it was a great experience. Now what brings you back to want to get back to work uh, so soon, I guess? Well, hockey's always kind of been, well, it's been my biggest passion in life. I you know, started hanging around the rinks when I was uh, young with my father and, and NHL dressing rooms. and. It's just always been a part of part of me. I think uh, the day I had to retire and, and not be active in it was that was tough. Be back in in uh, a situation where where uh, I feel like I can contribute and, and uh, yeah do my part. How difficult is it for you to explain to players who reach out about wanting a scouting position or a coaching position? Quite frankly, the work that it takes and the work that it's involved, and there's really no off season, and that's what Alex obviously is going to be heading into now. Yeah, I think everybody looks at it a little bit differently. Uh, you know, I started out probably 10 years ago trying to bring a lot of ex players on staff, but it's like an internship. Uh, they get to work the six months for free yeah. to see if they like it. Uh, and I also knew him very well from our for his playing days, my management days. You build those relationships over time, and. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of guys that think they want to be in hockey, then they start seeing the hours. Uh, it's a little different. When did you know when he was playing that there's something about this kid that not only as a player, but he's got potentially a future in management or coaching after he's done? You start to gain combined scar tissue over over successful seasons and non-successful playoffs. You, you start to poke and prod each other. Like he made me a better manager. He pushed me. He he asked questions and wanted answers on why and how and I pushed him I think I tried to get him to think outside uh, his comfort zone with the players and support support the coach support and he was always a great supporter of the coach but you know to win you have to have sacrifice and you know we had some meetings probably starting in 15 16 that were uncomfortable for both of us that made me work harder to make sure he could reach his goals. And as, as he was reaching his, we were reaching ours together. Are you relishing in the fact that that he, you're gonna be in his shadow across the way here? Yeah, absolutely. One of the greatest general managers in NHL history and to be able to, you know, even this past year to be able to call and ask questions on, on thought process or, um, you know, uh, a meeting or anything like that has been very valuable and moving forward it's going to be even more valuable. But. I was talking to another GM last year, a young one, Daniel Breer in Philadelphia and we had our run-ins as players. I'm sure you've had your run-ins as players as well but we were talking in Philly and I think it was Chris Kerber who asked him the question, you know, you go to these GM meetings, is a little, are you a little intimidated? You know, how is that for a young GM stepping in and and he said, I would say the most intimidating GM without a doubt, who do you think he said? <laughs> no way. He no. did. I, I didn't blame him. I thought either you or Stevie Y, one of the one of the two. And he said Stevie Y wasn't even close second. Not even close second. That's awful. And, and I said, what was it about him? He said he just has this history of winning, yeah. and he had great great presence. And yeah. you know, I talk about the mentorship, but you know, Daniel Breer said to me, Army, the hardest thing that he's having to do now is know that you have to break ties with former teammates. How do you prepare him to now step on the other side and one day have to make some tough decisions with not only players you play with, but quite frankly, really good friends? Well, I, I think it starts with who he is as a person. He always thought about the team first. And we've talked about that, that if, if you make every decision is this best for the team, you it might not be popular, but that's just the nature of the beast. If you if I didn't have a utmost confidence in him and know him, 
he's going to do the right thing for the St. Louis Blues franchise. And people and ex-players, they lose a friendship over it. It really wasn't a friendship anyways. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Maybe discuss your first trade and, and the emotions that went into the trade and, and certainly the the emotions after the trade, whether you made the right decision or not. Yeah, I remember it. I, my first two trades, one was with uh, Lou Lamorello, one was Glenn Sather. So I figured I'm going to jump in. I might as well jump right <laughs> in the deep end. And uh, yeah, it, it's that that's that part. And, and, you know, Bob Gainey said it great. Like you, like, you know, assistant is the best job in anything, you know, assistant coach, assistant manager, you throw out your hot sports opinion, you go home when you sleep like a baby, you know, <laughs> but, but when you actually have to go through it and know you're altering, as I said, I go back to Bob Clark, altering someone's life. Are you willing to do that? Why are you doing it? Uh, and there's a lot of angst. And, and I think I shared this with Steena, the, the hardest part for a manager is the time that you trade somebody till the time the replacement player gets there because there's a void. You know, the player that you, you respected and moved on and there's nothing there, then as soon as you shake somebody's hand and welcome them to the organization and the players welcome to the organization, everything just seems to calm down. And so uh, that, that's something that, that he's going to experience. And again, if he's going to do a great job, but if they're people and, and make the right decisions for the right reasons and everything will work out. Are you prepared for all the armyisms? <laughs> You're going to be hearing over the next few years. You dropped a landmine earlier today. <laughs> you ever question? You ever just stop me like, what? What? Huh? What are you talking about? I'll usually ask him if I didn't understand it. <laughs> just flat out. Yeah, yeah. How is this team going to progress moving forward to be built to become a championship team again one day? We have a plan, and their job is to dis disrupt our long-term plan by being really good this year and making uh, our management group say, you know what? They've done their job, support them, trade a second round pick, trade a former second round pick, trade whatever you need to because they've earned the right to, to push forward. And if they do that, our management team will respond. Well, you got a lot to learn from him. You got a lot of teaching ahead of you. The good news is, you know, my booth and the radio booth is right next to you. So you have yeah. any questions, right. if Army's not there, yeah. you just kind of, you can, you can kind of do one of these yeah, or you yeah. just come in. Yeah, yeah. But if you come in my room, see, Army's used to stealing my heater. <laughs> Hers and I have a heater and we lost it one day and, and he took it. I went in there, I took it right back. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, oh yeah, I took it right back. So either if he needs gum or if he gets cold, don't bug me. But you can, don't be a stranger, come in if you have any hockey questions. Right. I know or if bit. I'm cold, yeah. Or yeah. if I'm cold. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Alex, congratulations. Nice. And, uh, Everyone in St. Louis, super excited for you and looking forward to the upcoming season, guys. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks for doing this. Fantastic.